Tomorrow's Super Tuesday. Look at that map. We're talking 595 Republican delegates up for grabs. So what can we expect here with me, Ron Meyer, Tammy Bruce, Jillian Melcher, and David McIntosh? Jillian, what, uh, let me start with you, Tammy. What are you looking for? Well, look, I think we, we know that Donald Trump's going to do very well. Uh, Ted Cruz should win Texas. The fact that we're even, uh, we don't know means that he's in a little bit of trouble. But it's not over tomorrow. We still go to then March 15th. So so give people a, a little bit of time to kind of reconfigure what it is that's happening. But it should reinforce for us what we expect. It looks to me like it's, it's essentially over unless we get some upsets tomorrow, Ron. Here's the thing. There's this junk pull out from CNN that doesn't pull young people. Young people have been ignored this entire election. We have some data from Virginia that shows that youth, young people, the youth vote could actually pull an upset potentially in Virginia. If you're looking for a Good race point. to be close, look tomorrow, look to Virginia. Who would be the, upset, who would be the upset winner? Listen, the people who poll best are Rubio and Cruz among young people. Look for those two Especially to Especially late deciders. Yeah. Late Absolutely. deciders. Well, late deciders in the last two contests have gone for Rubio, yeah. but there have been a lot of early votes already in some of these states, Jillian. Yeah, I think Cruz really has the most to win through this. If he can do a strong showing not only in Texas but elsewhere, he's building a brand as somebody that can take on Trump. I think Rubio's got the most to lose. If he doesn't make a strong showing one of these times, boy, states are slipping away. Well, he's got to win sometime, too, yeah. right? I mean, strong showing. How many times can we celebrate a second place for Marco yeah, Rubio? Yeah, exactly. Hey, David McIntosh, how much is the club for growth spending? I heard you guys are in some of the ancillary states uh, spending some money out there. We are, we are spending about a million dollars in this round. Let me tell you, the bellwether states uh, to see whether Trump will be able to continue to win are Arkansas and Oklahoma. He's been ahead in the polls there. If he loses there, it shows that when people do the anti-Trump ads, he'll lose. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be key in those March yeah, 15th winner take all. David, if he, if he runs the table outside of Texas, is the club for growth almost ready to fold their tent, maybe to look to coming into the Donald Trump big tent? Yeah, we, we will keep going, but yeah. I'll tell you, we'll be energized if he loses Arkansas and Oklahoma. That's the key for us to watch that. And I urge everybody, if he loses those, then there's a good chance that Rubio and Cruz can beat him in those big winner-take-all states. All right, guys, I still think wow. it's at this stage of the game, it's, it's really pie in the sky.